Jessica, when are you giving me my second child? What kind of Chiamaka is well grown and I don't know what you're waiting for. What kind of a sick question is that? Am I good at these children? Can't you be like other women and just give me a second child? Can't you be like other men and give me something I can give back to you? Are you stupid? Are you talking to me like that? Please, Amy. Yeah, please. Listen, you must give it to me now. What is wrong with you? You must give it to me right now. Give it to me now. was actually picking your clothes before she slept. Okay, let's go to my room. Woman. Oh, Mama, I said you are full of bad luck. Look at the type of bad luck you brought into our family. Oh, Mama, your first son, blind, sick, he died. Your second son, he came sick, blind. Nobody knows what will happen to him. Oh, Mama, I say you are full of bad luck. You are, oh, Mama, you are, you, are, you are full of bad luck. I told you Gona not to marry a Bini girl, but he did not listen. Now look at the problem. Look at the shame you are bringing to the family. Eh? In my company, nobody is blind. I don't know where you brought that one from. Oh, Mama, Iga, na Inasigo, you must leave this house. You must leave this compound with this your bad luck. You must leave this compound. Anyway, by the time I'll finish with you, you won't even know when you reach your house. Iga, na Inarugo Ben Nagi. Iga, fun Iga, na. Anyway, Inarugo da Narusev. Ugona, please send Onome back to her parents. Biko, let her go back to her parents. I don't know what that girl gave to you that made you to be blind like her children. Eh? You are finished. This is not you, Ugona. In our lineage, we have never had a blind person. Biko, Mama was not blind. Papa was not blind. I am not blind. You are not blind. Even Chinese is not blind. So I don't know where she brought that blindness from. Let her go. Yanaba. Let her go. Even if it means going to her parents with that child. Let her take that, that child to her parents. We don't need such a child in our family. After all, how are you sure you are the father of that child? Yes. How are you sure? Let her go. Let her go to her parents with that child. We don't need, we don't need even her. We don't need her in this family again. Biko Nanaba. Okay, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Gana be nata.
I think I have a problem of secondary infertility. And I'm just thinking, I mean, does it have to do with the ectopic pregnancy I had? No, no. Mrs. Chuku, you don't have any case of infertility. The ectopic pregnancy was removed professionally. It has nothing to do with your state. You don't have any problems at all. Something that happened three years ago. No, no, no. Then why can't I get pregnant? I mean, why can't I have another child? I need to see your husband. is what brought me here. Our people say that the men have two lives. That for us women, it's a one straight life. 
I want to know why you have been unable to give us another child. That is my problem. In fact, that is what is eating me up. Mama, before I say anything, please sit on the chair. <laughs> my dear, you know I like sitting on the floor. It's very cool here. Nevertheless, if you want me to sit on the chair, let me sit there so that you won't be angry with me, my child. Mama, there's nothing wrong with me. I've seen Dr. Philip. I've done all the necessary tests and they've confirmed that nothing is wrong with me. I want to beg you to please plead with Harrison. Let him go and do a fertility test. What is, what is this? What do you mean by the fertility test? Did I tell you anything is, is wrong with me? Come down, my son. It's okay. What is the matter with you? It's okay. Mind yourself. Come on. Why is there anything wrong with you? So he refused to go. He has refused to go. Hmm. Oh, Mama, no, no. what is it? What? Ikena's illness is getting worse. I've given him all the drugs that I have. He's not getting better. Please, please take him to the hospital. Sorry, Mama. I am going nowhere. Listen, let me ask you. Is Ikem now really my son? How can I have a blind son as my own? Sorry. Not even after the first one. Who was the quality? Excuse me. Mama, please. Please, you have to the appointment with uh, Cosmic Pictures. What is keeping you now? You should have done that. Okay, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yes, please. What is it? Uh, but I came to tell you that uh, he can now sick. Last night, on a man, I couldn't sleep. And I, I heard when she talked to you, but brother, you, you couldn't say anything. You didn't say anything. Listen, Missy. Of what use is Ikenna a blind son to me? Of what use? But, I, but I sometimes I wonder if you use your children for, for money rituals. How could your two children be blind? Listen. Mm -hmm. Now, Messi, leave my office. And before I come back to the house, just pack your things and off from my house. I know you can't do that. You know when you promised Papa on the sick bed that you're going to take care of me? But I, you said we're going to be together until I find my feet. But I, you promised Papa that we'll be together.
Josie. I'm set to go into my breakfast waiting. Oh, Josie. Have you gone to do the fertility test? What kind of question is that this morning? That is not what I asked you. That is what I want to know. Mm, okay. Since you have refused to do it, I know just exactly what to do. Women can no longer be fooled. What is wrong with you? Chukwu Jekun Chukwu Jekun, come and remove this car Remove which car? Where are you going? Eh? What do you mean where am I going? I'm going to work now You are not going anywhere You are not going anywhere until you go and, and do that test You must send that test Mama, please, 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 I don't You are not going anywhere And you want to be sent your father's new vessel I will, I will not allow it Oh, Mama, no, stop this. I'm going to work, please. No. What, what is this thing that you and Jessica are conniving to stress me up? What, what? I'm not conniving with anybody to stress you up. You're not going to just go and go and do the test. Finish. I'm not asking for too much. Mama. Mama. I'm going to show you something. Come on, let me show you something. Come on, let me show you something. Just show you something now. Come, Mama. Come on, let me show you. Come, you run. Do you want to go? Don't come and remove any car. Don't come and remove any car. Where are you, Chukwu Jeku? Mama, you will not run away. Just come, I'll show you. Come on, let me show you. Don't remove any car. Come on, show me. College. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> and that is my mother in law. Mama, hello, Mama. How are you, my dear? It's so nice to see you. Yeah. Yes. The doctor is ready. Okay, I'll wait for you. Hi, Mama. Hi, Actually, doctor, I brought my husband here for the tests. Yes, I see. Uh, Mrs. Juliana Chukwu. Yes, doctor. Please excuse us. <gasps> this is a case of husband and wife. Okay. Doctor, please make sure he does the test. Mr. Harrison Chukwu. Yes, doctor. I asked your wife to bring you to the hospital because of the case at hand. I brought... Hello? Yeah, Harrison. Yeah, I am fine. 
all the family is sweet. We are cooking. Oh, she is doing wonderfully well. Really? Um, okay then, let's meet at the club. I will discuss that. It, it's alright. Okay, okay then, bye. Good Hello, sweetheart. Are you serious? <laughs> I love you too. Hey, 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 don't even go there. Listen, let me tell you, your honey pot is the sweetest. <laughs> I am not worry, the usual place. And I'll take care of you, okay? It's a matter. Bye. Brother. Major, what is it? Brother, until Nama just called me. He came and has been admitted at the hospital. So? But I have to go and see them. Major, thank you for the information. You can leave. But brother, you can leave. I said, get out. Maisie, get out. Why? I mean, how? I can't believe you connived with my mother to ridicule me. On top of that, you embarrassed me at the hospital. How do I embarrass you? I mean, if you had agreed to go under the test amicably, the so-called embarrassment would not have arisen. I mean, I think the problem with most men like you is just moral chauvinism. Are you calling me a chauvinist? Are you not one? Yes, doctor. The result of your test is out. Okay. But I need your wife to go for another test before I can start my diagnosis. Another test? Yes. Um, doctor, when, when do I do the test? Immediately. Yes, let's forget about the water now. Is it clear to you now that you are the cause of our problems? How? What do you mean how? Didn't you hear Dr. Phillips? He implied that there is nothing wrong with me and that you are the cause of our problems. Otherwise, why would he ask you to go and do a second test? My love, are we competing? I thought we were trying to solve this problem as one family. Yes, we are, but I have always been at the receiving end. That is the irony of life. Anyway, 
You can go get me the water now. Why is Felicia the one setting the table for my dinner? I don't understand. She's always been the one who sets the table for your meals. Come on, dear. I do the cooking, she sets the table. What is wrong in that? Well, when you're true, you should eat the food. Because I'm not eating that food. What do you mean you're not eating the food? Because she set the table. I was the one who cooked the food. I don't think I owe you any explanation. Why would you eat your wife's food? What has she done to you? Why are you cooking up problems for Betty and me? Eh? What is the matter with you? Do it. I'll let you pass on this piece of food. Don't mind him. He has no choice. He must eat it. I know he doesn't eat out. Eh? Just relax. He's only trying to cook up the uh, storage for you. Mama, you have to trust me on this. Harrison and I have done all the necessary tests, and the result will soon be out. Mama's solution is on the way. You know what? I thank God for giving me a daughter in law like you. What would I have done? You are so understanding, you are so caring. God bless you, my child. I'm just worried because Harrison is my only son. I have three daughters. They are all married. Men, if this thing happens to Harrison, what will I do? You see why I'm worried? Yes, Mama. And as I said, everything will be fine. <laughs> well, I say thank you for your encouragement, my daughter. You people trust in doctors. But my, I know where I put my trust. In God. He has never disappointed me. I'm not sure he will not disappoint me this time. I just need to intensify my prayers. He will answer me. Amen. So I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes.
I have analyzed all the results of the tests. Mrs. Chukwu, I hereby reaffirm that there's nothing wrong with you. Mr. Harrison, I need to ask you some questions. Can my wife excuse us for that? Why should I excuse you? Mr. Chukwu, it is unethical for your wife to excuse us. She has to stay. Mr. Chukwu, have you ever been infected with Konome? Say I have to ask you a favor. Which is? To not tell my mother about what the doctor said. She's a mother. She's a part and parcel of this family. She has to. Look, can't we just keep this between us and go about solving the problem, please? It's because you've always been hiding. But on this issue, you will not hide. What do you gain by telling her? Look, I'll do anything for you, but please just don't tell me. Don't you tell your prostitute that? Tell that to your prostitute and not me.
So now that I've accompanied you to your friend's place to sympathize with her, do you forgive me? No. And that is because you didn't do me any favor. You happen to meet your friend there also, who happens to be my friend's husband. Mm -hmm. So you console the friend, I console the friend. There's no favor in I didn't mean it in the sense that you're taking it. All I'm simply trying to say is, have you forgiven me? Wait until we get home. My mama come back from wherever she went to. What is that supposed to mean? It means I haven't forgiven you. It's a go less true. You met a friend, I met a friend. You consult a friend, I consult a friend. Harrison is the reason why we can't have another child. How? When he has only father and a child. Actually, Mama, Harrison went and slept with a prostitute and contracted gonorrhea. Hey! Have you lost your 
faith in God. I am only human. I'm so sorry, man. So I'm even making this with my mom. Jesse, in spite of my plea, you still went ahead and reported me to my mother. What are you saying, Harry? Why shouldn't I tell her? I told her just in case of tomorrow. Harry, you're such an unfaithful dog. You're not even showing any remorse about your infidelity. You look at me on the face. And ask me why I told your mother. I really thank you, stars. It wasn't HIV, and I did not contract the disease. Or else, I would have made a sorry sight out of you. Jesse, you, you are talking to me like this. I don't blame you. That is the problem with you men. That is the problem. Ego, ego, ego. Stupid self pride. As a matter of fact, Harry, I am through with this marriage. Jesse, Jesse, please. You can't be serious. I am dead serious, Harry. What will I be doing with you? Why will I live under the same roof with you? Why would I stay with a man who cheated on me? Turned me into an emotional wreck? Contracted a disease that almost made me better? Why would I stay with you, Harry? Why? What future do I have with you? What does the future hold for me? Thank God it wasn't HIV. I am through with this marriage, Harry. Please, please, please. Jesse. Jesse. I'm sorry, I know you're hurting me. I don't care! You can keep your sorry. Right now, I don't care if you have azospermia or oligospermia or whatever spermia you have in this world! Jesse, please. The doctor said what I have is oligospermia, which means that it's not outright infertility, it can still be corrected. Harry, even if I have to forgive you for this despicable act, how long? How long am I going to wait before your sperm cells get over 60 million for you to be able to impregnate me? How long? Look, I will start the treatment immediately. Oh, I don't care! My love for you is dead! It's gone with the sea It's gone with the wind. Can't, we can't talk like this. Look, believe me, I have come to terms with the enormity of my actions and I'm, I'm really sorry. I wouldn't lie to you. It's been, it's, it's been on my neck like the hangman's news all this while. But even if I have to pay the price to to heal your broken heart, please don't walk away. Please. I'm sorry. Harry. Tell me. Who gave you the sexually transmitted disease? Who gave you the gonorrhea? Who? Honestly. I cannot question God. That's the sixth solution to your problem. Apart from those children's death, they were both blind. And it is complicated. Mama, if I tell you I'm not disturbed, I am lying. Which ophthalmologist did I not see? They told me nothing could be done to cure their blindness. 
And my husband, Ogona, did not help matters, Mama. Men's love are always on trial when marital crises arise. But they have to win back his love. Yes. How do I do it? How? When my sister in law, Ibera, has poisoned the heart of my husband. If not for me, Zia, who is more reasonable? Honor me, you a woman. A bini girl at that matter. Give her her position. And I'll support you. You're a bini girl at that matter. Mama, you know they are Ibos. I am not from Unkano. That is immaterial. Where are you going to? Please go back. Go Is this your house? Go back. To where? To where are you coming back from now? Go to your back to go. Go to your parents' house. There are two children in there. What are you going there to do? Yes? Madam, be me. Carry your picking. Go. Don't push her. Why push her? I didn't even touch her. Oh, mama, go inside. Go inside here. Where do you want her to go? Trials are over. The devil cannot do more than he has done already. You knew Onoma very well before you agreed to marry her. And personally, I refused to marry her. But he has showed me that love surpasses every problem. I don't know if I can still count on those words again. Mama, so much waters have passed under the bridge. Yes. But you should remember that you wedded her at the church. Onome has brought so much ill luck to my family. My own younger brother accused me of using my children for money rituals. When God knows I work hard. Shakespeare said he will bear a friend's infirmities. Not talk of a brother. I don't think Onome brought any ill luck to you. Whatever that happened will be just temptations. And I believe all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You have to pray always. And I believe that God answered all things. Mama, I am really very sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. And I want you to be with your wife better than before. And you promise me that.
doing here?
baby, baby, trust me, baby. Baby, do whatever you wanna take it slow, slow, slow. Let it just flow, baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Love me, don't slow, don't slow. Take me gone, baby. Trust me, baby I'll give it to you any other way Thank you. 
have to go to the hospital for another test. What they call seminalysis in medicalese. Dr. Phillips said I should get a sample of my semen. Harrison, I really hate to bother asking, but let me ask you, how do you intend to get it? Because I personally will not allow you to use me to get it. I see. Okay. I'll get it all the same. Harrison, Harrison, how? I ask again, how do you intend to get it? Does it matter how I get it? You just said you wouldn't help me to get it. I have to do a test. I need a sample of my semen. I will get it one way or another. Go get a condom. I'll help you. What did you say? Oh, please, please, Harrison. Don't try to make me look stupid. Don't deceive me. Just go get a condom. Well, I'll have to go and buy. <laughs> Please do. What is all this cynical laughter about? You're just pretending as if you don't need the phone as much as I do. And by the way, that sample of semen is equally important to you, whether you admit it or not. Since when I meet with only one man, I friend before I marry my husband. And that man does cut out my marriage, take us and give him gonorrhea. Now you give me the gonorrhea, they ask you. We've eh? not seen each other for a very long time. And you come hey, to the first time, you insulting me. Let me hear you. You're not a shame. See where you they stay. Now where you care when I leave? Now here you see me. When me and you they take this woman? Progress, you know the progress. You know the shame. Your wife not be born for you. I don't understand when me and you they friend, they fuck all those that shall wear their bag with. On the right? On the right, put your hand up. I said, put your hand down. 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 You may go kill yourself. Oh. You don't hear me so? Go ask me to go kill yourself. Maybe you don't know the kind of disease that spread the gifts you must not get to this room. Go ask me to go kill yourself. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, you said you wanted to see me. What is it? Well, I want to see me. I am very sorry for calling me out. Is that the time we will fill me my mind? Wow. Felix, that to my sister. I go no now. I very. I know very now. Every time I go come has very long from here to that place. I'm a crazy and I'm a fella. Every time I go here, I go here. I'm evil. I no go stand inside that evil. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Fight him. That to my wife, you go see my dance, bar. That to my, I am very good. Very good woman. But my sister is very, very weak and well. So that is why, by the time I don't do that thing, you know, go send us out to wipe 
I go for my dance. Why he wants me is a good bar. I was kerayum, kerayum to go by Allah and go see my chairs. That is. My friend, will you shut up? Is that why you called me out here? Maka, yam kuri mo na, yam kana wes. I go tell him he's touch my mind. My friend, will you get out of here? And don't you ever call me Linda. This is not why we are here. So why are you here? You tell me you have gonorrhea. Me? Gonorrhea? No, me. What for? You're asking me? Listen, Maggie. I actually. Let me tell you. Huh? I actually invited you here to tell you that it is over between us. And you have to return every single thing that I've given to you. And you will return all the enjoyment that I've given to you. Oh, including the gonorrhea? Listen, Maggie. You had better go and kill yourself. Get out! Carry your maggot infested pussy out of here and now!
and not all these girls that I accused wrongly. get to bed because it would just be like pouring water in a basket and I will not listen I will not have every right to be angry but when you discover your wife gave you gonorrhea did you at any time tell her so that she can cure it oh, oh I should have known that I should have known that mama that other man is a prostitute how dare you say that how dare you say that about my daughter have you ever caught on with another man since you married her? I take a sanction of you call a prostitute. If she were a prostitute, why then would you marry her? Or do you want to give a dog a bad name just to hang it? I know how you begged me, if yeah, before I allowed you to marry my daughter. And look at what you're doing. Bugonna, I can stand here to authoritatively tell you that Onome had that gunubia from her first boyfriend before ever she met Harrison. And she became a healthy carrier. I know she never allowed you to touch her before you wanted her. How did you? Tell me you did! Swear to wait! I honestly do not know what to believe. I don't! You are talking nonsense. You are talking nonsense. You cannot accuse her of adultery. You cannot! Just because she had an affair with Harrison in the past before you married her. She can swear to you that she has never cheated on you since you married her. Even since you came into her life. Can you swear you never cheated on her? Can you swear? Okay, mama, it's enough! Enough! It is not enough, Guna. It is not! So if she had had HIV, this is how you'd have stigmatized her. Meaning that people with HIV should not be treated with love. Is that what you're saying? Just because your wife had gonorrhea that can be cured. That was when you asked out of your house. I am disappointed at your behavior. Don't I disappointed at you? Welcome. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Mm. I have spoken to your husband. Yes, I want to see him. I have talked to him in the language you understand. Was that why he called me? He even sent me a text message asking me to come back to his house. Who is interested anyway? No, no, no. Anyway, you have to be interested. Listen, no marriage is sweeter than the other. Mama, I can't go back there. I can't go back to that house. What are we going there to do? Why did I live there? Oh, you have to go back there. That is your home. Marriage is for better, for worse. You have to go back to your home. That is your husband. I and your late father we had our own misunderstanding. But I have differences. But I didn't leave him. If not, you wouldn't have met me in this house today. Men are like babies. And every good mother misses her child. So go back home and miss your husband. Be submissive to him. Listen to him. And be a good wife to him. Okay, my daughter? Okay? So happy that you're home. I'm happy. Guna, I want to ask you a question. What is it, my love? Since I have this Guna, how come you have not gotten it? Honestly. When I get it, I always think that my girlfriends gave it to me. Girlfriends? Ogona, you have girlfriends? Sorry. I have not been faithful to you. That is why I did not notice your ailment. I never knew a malignant death mother! A cowboy! But I've always loved you. Don't you think I've done wrong with you than my mates? If you loved me, you wouldn't have treated me the way you did. When he came, I was blind. When he was sick, you were abandoned us. Did I not have your love and care? How could you be so callous, Madonna? My dear, I 
was so confused. Who did I touch you? God. It's not for a high end you have out there. The chain of women. You would have noticed that I ignorantly have Gloria. And you would have done something about it. Faithful to their wife! My own chicks! When you listen, Oguma, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a man to remain faithful to his wife from marriage to death. And the place, let bygone be bygone. Bygone can never be bygone! Do you think it's easy? to amaze me. In all my tribulations, you have always stood there for me. You even fought your elder sister because of me. Auntie, Auntie Mama, you know you've been a wonderful woman. You've been a wonderful wife to my brother. And you know you and my wife have never supported injustice. I know a boy never liked you just because you're not from Kano. But that doesn't mean anything to me. I know when I get married, have my children, they can marry from anywhere they want. Yes. Auntie, welcome. Yeah. Thank you for coming back. Hi. You're welcome. Yeah. Ah. Auntie, I have to say, you see, my, bro my brother never found love until he met you. Auntie, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, that reminds me. I heard you no longer studying engineering. What happened? Auntie, you know I never liked engineering. Mm. It was Brother Ogona that forced me to read engineering. But until what I want to read is theater art. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an actor. <laughs> you know I can do it now. Don't <laughs> you like money? I want to make money. Like money. <laughs> and be like all that. I want to hear about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's why I am it. So much time you make it. I'm seeing that. Hey, she made it. Yeah. laboratory to run some tests. Okay? Okay. And you say that you've had two children. They are dead. Both of them we are blind before they died. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. I think I'm interested in your case. I'm doing a research on infant mortality rates for my professorial seat. And I think by the time I finish the research, I'll be made a professor of pediatrics and gynecology. Your case will contribute to my research. Amen. Yes. What did you say your age is? 26. 26. Okay, 
take this to the laboratory. They will run these tests on you. In three days' time, you have to come back. By then, the results of the tests would have gotten to me. Okay? Everything will be okay. Alright? You might regards to your husband. Have a nice day. Started treatment? Hugo, that hospital is good. But the time they have not started treatment. How is the hospital good when they have not started treatment? I saw Dr. Lee. He said the treatment will start after doing the six tests he asked me to. I have done four already, it's remaining two. So when are you doing the remaining two? Tomorrow. You're looking so weak. Is any other thing the problem? No, I'm just having a headache. That's all. In that case, I will accompany you to the hospital tomorrow. Oh, no, no, Yes. I want you to go to the office. Yes. <laughs> My heart drop is more important than the office. Can't be serious. I am very serious. When I bring you back from the hospital, I will then go to the office. See that? I love you. Come on, let's go in. Okay? Shall we? And when I got there, he said, I can't believe what I'm saying. Ah, my heart skipped. And I said, what's the matter? He said, you have a new sperm count. It is 120 million sperm cells. Say you're kidding me. I'm not kidding. Oh, my God! <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. I said, are you joking or is this? She said, I'm dead serious. And I just stood there looking at him. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> That's so nice. Do you know what this means? <laughs> it means our dreams can finally come true. Yes, my love, yes. yes. <laughs> we should just go away somewhere, just the two of us, and do whatever we want to do to celebrate. What do you say? Lumena. Lumena. I haven't been there in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Congratulations. From the scan I conducted on you through ultrasound, you neither have blocked fallopian tubes nor ovarian cysts. Uh, doctor, block fallopian tubes, I understand. But ovarian cysts, I do not understand. Mm -mm -mm. You see, ovarian cyst is a non-cancerous cystic mass that develops either in small or large quantity in a woman's 
ovary or ovaries, which is as a result of hormonal imbalance, hormonal malfunctioning, which could originate from the use of hormonal pills. Doctor, the level you are now is at your own level. Can you please come down to my own level? <laughs> okay, listen. Simply put, ovarian cyst is a substance or lump which accumulates either in small or large quantity in a woman's ovary or ovaries as a result of hormonal imbalance is one of the factors that causes infertility in women apart from blocked fallopian tubes, ectopic pregnancy, and fibroid. But thank God you don't have any of these problems. Thank God I don't have them. You see, I've always advised women to see a specialist, I mean a gynecologist, once after ovulation, fertilization does not occur. I thank God you don't have any of these problems. Now, back to the tests that I've conducted. Doctor, that is where I am afraid. Why? Listen, you don't need to be afraid. You have to thank God that you came to see me at this time. You see, you have had this gonorrhea for three years. It could have caused infertility in you the way it causes infertility in men. So, doctor, gonorrhea can make a man or woman infertile? Yes. Gonorrhea is a very deadly disease, but a lot of people don't know. And when they contract it, they either don't treat it well, or they go to quacks to treat it. Listen, you see, after analyzing the results of the tests. I want to tell you that you have Neisseria gonorrhea. Yes, Neisseria gonorrhea, which is a gonorrhea sexually transmitted disease. You see, because you have been infected, any man that meets you will get the bacteria, which is gonococcus and the person will be infected with gonorrhea you see for the fact that you've had this gonorrhea for three years it is because of the nature of the woman's wider receptacle that is because the woman's vagina is very elastic doctor this is strange well um is rather strange. You see, what was responsible for the blindness of your little children is because of the fact that you had gonorrhea. Gonorrhea causes ophthalmia neonatorum in newborn babies from infected mothers like you. That was why they were blind. From the blindness. I don't know what the doctor said is the cause of my children's death. Yes, uh, but if you want to know the cause of their death, there are some questions I will ask you. I will ask you questions on their immunization, your family medical record, and personal hygiene. If you're able to answer this question, then I can ascertain the cause of their death. And meanwhile, put yourself together. Okay, just pull yourself together. Great. 
honey, you've been looking so sad. Tell me, what did Dr. Tude do to you? He did not do anything to me. He said he wants to see the both of us. Why does he want to see the two of us? I don't know. He has his reasons. That man is very thorough. You still have not told me the reason why you are sad. Doctor, they said our children died out of our carelessness. Is that why he wants to see the two of us? No, I am not going anywhere. I don't think that's why he wants to see us. So, what? I don't know, you just have his reasons. Just wipe your tears, okay? God will surely give us other children, okay? Okay. Okay. When does he want us to see him? Say so tomorrow. You have already started treatment on me. It's okay, not to worry. Just wipe your tears, eh? Come on, give me that your smile again. Yeah, good day, Professor Onyigo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, so I'm still doing research on infant mortality rates. Yes, sir, I have a new patient who is helping me with my research. Yes, I'm treating her case. Okay, sir. I'll see you tomorrow at your office. Have a pleasant day, sir. Thank you, sir. What are you doing in my office? Please, sir. I need your help. How may I help you? And I have told you that the medical profession is a delicate one. Sir, please. My father is going to kill me. It is better that your father kills you than for you to kill a lot of people. You are not fit for the medical profession. Anna, you, you have failed your second LB twice. And you want me to pass you. You want me to bring murderers into the medical profession under the cloak of doctors? I will not do it. All right, sir. Just tell me how much it's going to cost me, okay? I will pay you. But just make sure I still you. How scandalous. You think I take bribes? You not heard about me? Listen, let me tell you, I am above settlement. I am beyond settlement. Look at what the likes of you have done to the academias. Look at what the likes of you have done to destroy the university system. But because of the likes of you, I have sent a report to my medical association and all colleges of medicine in the whole of Nigeria. Now get out of my office. But, uh, Get out! You scoundrel! You have destroyed the university system! Cheats! <laughs> I hope you enjoy the food, Mama. Oh. You know you're a very good cook. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. And once again, you're very, very welcome. I'm Comradia. But I hope you won't say I'm leaving you. I have to go and check my friend. No problem. Oh, I look okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my love. Yes, darling. I am very happy that the cause of her problem has been identified. That's Dr. Day. He's a wizard. I know. <laughs> Imagine what he found out on me. Uh, darling, let me ask you a question. Why is it that you men, whenever you contract gonorrhea, instead of going to qualified medical doctors for treatments, you go to these quack doctors or patent medicine dealers? Huh? Huh? 
um, my dear, you know, when men contract gonorrhea, they're always ashamed of it. And, um, <laughs> Anyhow, they will hide and um, treat themselves. Well, my happiness is that your case is not that very serious. <laughs> and Dr. Day has started treatment already. I'm happy. Anania, mm? I promise to always be by your side. Hmm? Uh, Let me be the first faithful man that will pass through the eyes of a needle. <laughs> 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 Who is that again? Oh, that's it. <laughs> Jessica! Jessica! What is it? What have you come here to do? Haven't you people caused enough harm? I don't understand. I'm looking What has my wife or myself got to do with this? Jessica, leave my house. Honey, please! No, no, no! Don't honey me! Jessica said, leave my compound right now! Jessica. She went out, but she says she's coming back very soon. Okay. Let me go and uh, pull off. You're welcome. Thank you. know how I'm faring. I'm so, so sorry for what my husband just did. It's nothing. Honestly, it's not his fault. It's my husband's fault. I just hope this will not make you stop coming to my house. Oh no, come on. I told it's over. Really? I have to get going. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. He must apologize to you. Sorry too much. Honestly, it's okay. No problem. Nice job, Ah, uh, my baby is fine. Smiling every day now because my mother-in-law just visited. She did? Yes. I hope she's not giving you problems, especially now that the second baby has not come. No, no, she's so nice. She's extremely nice. Not all mother-in-laws are devils, you know. I never met mine. She died November 1983, Fokker 28, anywhere crash. And my father-in-law died when I was pregnant with my first child. So you can see I don't know. Oh, you seem to worry too much. God knows it all. I'm sure he knows why you never got to meet them. Well, that's true. <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> Alright. Be careful. Okay, okay now. Okay. What did I do? You pretend with me. I mean, your sex wrong with another before she got married. How could you have gone to a matrimonial queen? Only to insult and embarrass her, going to all sorts of negative, giving me prostitute and red house when I had to leave. But she was the one who gave me the gun You are talking trash. If you want to use a condom, will she bring it to you? Jesse, you know very well I hate using condoms during sex. I don't enjoy it. And I already apologized to you on that score. So bloody what? That gives you the impetus to destroy somebody else. God, you're such an embarrassment! Thank God you did not succeed. 
That was so childish, stupid. Hey, hey, that's enough. You believe you talk to me. I will lay my hands on you. Harrison, what do you do to Jessica? What do you do to her? How to see her? Did she tell you I did anything to her? girl in India college. Percy darling, that was then and not now. Please hold on for my husband. Um, good evening, madam. Oh, good evening, Mr. Ogo. Uh, please, I am sorry for... Oh, no, really. It's okay, no problem. Um, all the same, I apologize for my actions. I am sorry for the embarrassment. Honestly, I've forgotten everything about it, really. And thank you so very much. Do have a pleasant day. Thank you, and you too. Have a pleasant evening. Sorry, please. Can you possibly hand the phone back to Oname? Hey, the most brilliant debater of India College. Thank you so very much. Oname, have you gone to the hospital for that your problem? Oh, yes. In front now. Thank you for caring. Bye. At least to cook for you for seven days. My husband has given me permission. Oh, you came to visit me and cook for me for at least one week with this big truck? Yes, now. At least to take care of you. I learned that you sent your wife packing. Thank God you've realized what I've been telling you. And you now came to cook for me for at least one week. And your husband permitted you to do that. Hey, 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 so please, uh, can you just leave my contact right now? No, no, no. I am not going anywhere. I'm going to your house. Did you hear me? He said you should leave this compass. Oh, please, leave our home. Uh, 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 uh,
I thought I had apologized. How long are we going to carry on wearing long faces? I am going to wear this long face until the next meeting. I will wear this long face until you go and apologize to your mother and your husband. Me apologize to them? Do you know what you almost did? Do you have any idea what you almost did? You almost made her lose her marriage. If you really mean to have no fault or any case of the Sonoxy affairs on her heart. What you did is a double sin. It is deeper than sex. Look, Jesse, I don't know if I can apologize to them. I, I, I don't know. Do you go again? That is your problem. Your problem is pride. You see that one really purpose arrogance. It's a twine with my future stories. That is your problem. Why do you always use such invectives on me whenever we, 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 we have a disagreement? But, oh, yes, I will use them on you. Yes. I'll keep using them on you as long as we insist on being stubborn and arrogant. We are going to continue to live like cats and dogs in this house until you go back and apologize to an man and her husband. He goes. <laughs> what is it? Come now. Leave me alone. Smile now. Say what you want to say and let me leave this place. I'm just going to overlook everything you've said to me because I want us to make peace. You know your ovulation is in two days time. <laughs> oh, so because my ovulation is in two days time, that is why you want us to settle, right? Uh, Listen, uh, uh, the answer is no. I am not a baby making machine. I didn't say that now. Look, Jesse. My mother has been on my neck. She gives me no peace. I don't care! I don't care whether she gives you peace or not. If you want peace, then do the right thing. Go and apologize to a man and your husband. Don't forget, while you're apologizing, make sure you really look remorseful or else, no show. Baby, how are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you, Nome. And you? Nothing much, but please hold on for my husband. It's okay. Hello, Nome. Hello, Harry. How are you doing? Yes, good afternoon. Um, I just want to say I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry about the heartache, the pain, and everything I caused you. I had no right to come to your place and say all the unprintable things I said. Please forgive me. It's okay. I've forgiven you a long time ago, and I accept your apology. Yeah. Thank you. Honey, who is that? That's Harrison. Thank you too. Is uh, is Guna there? Okay, let me talk to him. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. Just pull over and answer. Okay. Harry, hold on. He's driving. Let him park and answer you, okay? Okay, okay.
Yeah, yeah, good man. Um, listen, I honestly I don't know what to say. I, I I'm I'm really sorry, Gunnar. I had no right to barge in on your candlelit dinner and say all the things I said. Please, please forgive me. I'm really sorry. Please don't don't avoid me at the club again. Okay? Let's just bury the hatchet. Hey, it's all right, um, Harrison. We are all metals, and we are bound to make mistakes. Okay? Mm. I forgive you. Thanks for your understanding, Ogunna. Um, how do you see it? Uh, let's meet at the club in the evening, at the sports club this evening. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Listen, why don't you bring your wife along? I'll also come along with my wife and uh, we can all have a drink together. Well, that's not a bad idea, okay? So we'll see at the club then. Okay, then see you at the club. Well, send it well to your wife, okay? You're welcome. You satisfied now? Yes, I am. That means we'll be at the club okay. this evening. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's, uh, <laughs> All the way from Benin. My in I did. Uh -oh. I did to come and see this one. <laughs> How was your trip? It was good. It was wonderful. <laughs> we thank God for Jenny Messi's. It's good. It's good. Come on, let's go inside.
get the bag of rice and let's get to the club. Oh, ah, she may see it. Stop. 